Uh, how pleased are you with, with what Robin's had to say about his long-term future here and his commitment to your cause? Uh, well, I've, I've been telling you that, but you, you wanted to say or, or write something different to what, what I've been sort of telling you, but uh, it's difficult if you don't believe what I say, but uh, you know, it's nice if Robin, Robin's happy here, and uh, we're very pleased with that. How likely is it you might strike a new deal with him and keep him here for the rest of his career then? Well, I didn't know what was going. I didn't know what was coming out, so uh, I've only just uh, heard about this morning about it. So we'll just take it as it is. You know, he's got a couple of years to go on his contract, and I'm sure that'll be something the board look at. Well, I've always said I think we've got two two outstanding forward players in, in Wayne and, uh, and Robin, and I think both of them have got capabilities of winning games off, off their own back. They're both pivotal international players, one for Holland, one for England. And I think they're, they're major players. I think they're the sort of players that any any side in Europe and the world would want in their team. And uh, you know, I'm delighted to have both of them together. And certainly, more importantly, both of them, you know, showing that they want to be Manchester United players is even better. If that's perhaps a little boost for you, how big a boost would it be to win on Sunday? It'd be a big boost. It would be a important three points. I think everybody knows the importance of uh, Manchester United Liverpool games. Uh, we've played them twice this year, once in the league. Uh, once in the, in the cup, so we've we've come up against each other a couple of times, and uh, they've been tight games. Is it still the biggest game in the country this one? I think it is. I think it's the game which uh, you know there's, there's an awful lot riding on it. There's been great history uh, between the two clubs over over years of, of a long time, I should say. So I, I've got to say, I think that it, it is. I think this is the biggest the biggest uh, club game in, in the Premier League. David, there's a sense among Liverpool fans that they go into this match as clear favourites. I think Ian Rush on the radio said so this morning. Do you think that's accurate? It may well be. I think their their league position suggests that they're ahead of us, and uh, you know they possibly do come here favourites. So a bitter pill for United and United fans to swallow at this point. Well. Did you ask the Liverpool manager that question when it's been Manchester United over, over many years? So uh, I think it has. As I said before, it's been a great rivalry between the two clubs. I think Liverpool are having a very good season. And, uh, you know, we, we are the next, they're our next game at home and we have to do everything we possibly can to beat them. I think Manchester United have always been in, in strong positions coming into the end of the season. Well, maybe not in as strong a position as we'd like to be, but uh, I think every other season they've been very good at this time of the yeah, coming into the, the sort of final furlong, if you want to call it that. And uh, we've got big games coming up this month, and because of that, you know, it's important. You intimated there about sort of past stuff and Liverpool and perhaps Manchester City trying to stop Manchester United. Is there an extra motivation that you're perhaps trying to stop them? I think our motivation is to make sure that we, we keep progressing. I think we've played well in recent weeks, with the exception of Olympiakos, I think we've been progressing, we've been, getting, we've been improving. So if we can continue to improve again, that would be the most important thing for me, that we see signs of it. I see signs of it in training, I definitely do. I think the players are the players are look well, they look sharp, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Is that why March is important, because it gives you a foundation for the rest of this season? Well, we would, as I said before, I said I'd like to be in a stronger position where, where March becomes even more important now. It's always important, every game in football is important, and uh, as I said, I think any game uh, which features Manchester United and Liverpool is a massively important game. How pleased, I mean, is that the focus is on your attack, how pleased you've been with the defence next three? You're very good, defense. you're good. I'm pleased with the, I'm pleased with the young boys. Uh, you know, we've a great service from Bida in Rio and we're, we're using them because we need their experience. And uh, with the amount of games we've got coming up, we're going to need them all to be available, fit and healthy. And Nani back on the train field yeah. this week, is that improving? <coughs> yeah, Nani, Nani came back and uh, he had, a, he had a really uh, sort of bad, difficult hamstring injury, so he's back now, he's trained. So hopefully we'll get him up to speed very quickly. Yes, if I may, sorry, That's just uh, you've got three others, question marks perhaps, or we think we have, but you might be able to tell us otherwise. With Raphael, Javi Hernandez and Johnny Evans, what's the situation? Yeah, they're all doing fine, they're all coming on and uh, hopefully they'll all be in with a chance to play.